Okay, PSLE 2020 paper 2, interesting questions, part 3. So this was the question that one of our students was texting us just now. And she said that it looks very, very similar to the one that we have in our spatial visualization book. Let me just bring up the WhatsApp chat over here. Yeah, this is from the Spatial Visualization book. This one was question 16. Oh, question 16. Five marks. With just six triangles instead and different numbers. So I think I didn't read that carefully. Let me just edit this first. Yeah, and as you can see, as you can hear in the background, the messages are still coming in. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> so full disclaimer first, the questions here are from accounts from students. The exact phrasing of the question, numerical values, etc. may not be identical to the exact questions. Second of all, if you're a parent or student viewing this, before PSLE 2020 is over and you feel that viewing this video will affect your child's morale or confidence, please switch off this video now. Okay, the rationale is stated here. So let's begin on this. A rectangular piece of paper, not drawn to scale, is shown below. So six identical isosceles triangles were cut out from that paper. So if they are isosceles, identical isosceles triangles, label out everything first. The parameter of the resulting paper is 54 cm longer than the original paper. Find the area of each triangle and find the parameter of each triangle. Okay, so to deal with the first part, it's rather straightforward. We find the area of the rectangular piece of paper first. This would just be 25 times 15 to give you 375. Then 375 cm squared, when we subtract off the remaining area, we would get 96, which represents the area of six triangles. And since all of them are identical, we can just take 96 and divide this by 6 to give you 16. Okay, so part A is settled. 16 cm squared. Then for part B, find the parameter of each triangle. And this is where most kids would have been stumped. So let's just define what we have first. We are comparing the two parameters. Parameter of a rectangle, parameter of the new figure. So let's just see how it goes. The parameter of the rectangle can be represented as follows. There are two lengths and two breaths over here. Correct? So let's just label this down first. 25, 25, 15, 15. Rectangles parameter can be represented by this. So for the new figure, it can be, where is the parameter of the new figure? So to deal with this, you want to trace out if you're not sure, trace out the entire figure first. So the parameter is the outer boundary here, formed by this length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six sides from here. One more length. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So in total, it is formed by two lengths and 12 of those slanted sides. Okay, so let's just say that this is 12 units. And then we see that the difference over here is 54 cm. So if we compare units with units, numbers with numbers, hopefully you all remember that mantra, we can say that those 12 sides will add up to a total of 15 plus 15 plus 54, which will give you 84 in total. So one of these slanted sides will have a length of 7, and after that, the parameter of one such triangle will be two of these slanted sides and 15 divided by 3. That will give us 19. Okay. So if you want to purchase the spatial visualization book, I'll leave a link below. All right. 